Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, October 30th. We are one day away from Halloween. I am so excited and we are two days away from my birthday. So Friday is my birthday and I do have a Freaky Friday video coming out that day. Yay! This look, this is a, like a dark sort of gothic type of mermaid. Retro, so it's like retro dark gothic kind of mermaid <laughs> and I am so in love with it again I was just winging it didn't know what I was gonna do in this tutorial but everything just came out beautifully honestly this is my favorite look for this year from the looks that I did before we get into this video if you are not subscribed please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to be notified when I upload videos all right dolls let's get into this video Okay dolls, so to first get started, I'm parting my hair starting at the bottom. I do this all the time and I'm taking my Hot Tools Professional Curling Iron. This is a one inch curling iron. As I mentioned before, my other one broke, so mm, I had to buy a new one. So this time I am taking about two inch sections. I'm taking very large sections because we don't need them to be very small. Uh, the back is just going to kind of wave down and flow because I still wanted that mermaid look, but we're gonna get some victory rolls into this look. So once I complete curling the lower section, I like to then move on to the side sections. You don't have to do it this way, this is just easier for me to organize all my sections, I guess. And I've been doing it this way for such a long time. I'm used to it. So you don't have to go to the sides. You can just keep curling from the back, whatever it is you want to do. Once I'm finished with the sides, then I will move on to the back portion and start separating those. This time I'm going to curl all the way to the front. So now normally I save a piece for my bangs, but I'm just curling all the way back because this whole section is going to be some victory rolls. So you don't have to um, curl in the direction of your bangs. So this is how it should look. Moving on to makeup, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Beauty Undercover Perfecting Coconut Primer and applying that over my face. Then I'm taking this Fantasy Makers Paint Palette in Neutrals and I'm going to cover these eyebrows. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay 40NN and then Custom Highlight Drops from Lancome and mixing those together and blending that out into my skin. Uh, the Lancome one is just an illuminator. I still wanted sort of a glowy look since we are going to be mermaids and mermaids They have that Glistening skin because of the water whatever you want to call it <laughs> So I know I look like a ghost here, but it'll look better later. I promise now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and setting this foundation. Now I'm not using as much powder as I normally do because like I said, I still want a little bit of uh, illumination on my face. Taking my Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Tones Instant Color Highlight, I am just applying that on my brows where the hair is at just so I can start filling in these brows. Now I am taking my Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Longwear Pomade. This time I am using the shade Walnut, which is a, which is a really dark brown because I'm going to be a dark mermaid, so I want some darker brows. So this time I'm really just straightening out my eyebrows, hardly giving them an arch because when I think of darkness, I think of evil brows like this. <laughs> Not saying these brows are evil, but they just go with the look much better. And I'm just making them really, really dark. So once the brows are complete, I'm just using a brow bone highlight. You can use whichever one you like. I forgot which one I used here. Now I'm taking the Fantasy Makers 10 Pan Palette in Wizards in Training and I'm using this light gray for the inner corner and just sort of smoking it out. But I'm not, I'm sort of meeting it to the middle of my um, lid. 
Now in the same palette, I'm going in with a darker gray and filling the middle portion of my lid with that darker gray. And then I'm going to blend those out. And now on that same palette, I'm taking this black shade right here and using this brush to sort of, it looks like I'm creating a wing, but I just really want to lift and wing out that black eyeshadow because I want it to be extremely, extremely dramatic and evil looking. Then I'm going to blend that out as well. Now I'm taking this gray shadow, the lighter gray shadow, using that for the inner corner. And then I'm going in with the darker gray and applying that all the way, meeting it out to that black eyeshadow. Now going in with my Hip Dot Crystals palette, I'm taking this silver shade and applying it where all that gray is at. Going in with my Sweet Street Cosmetics eyeliner. This is the eyeliner Wing Queen. And I am creating some extra, extra dramatic wings today. Now going in with my Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner, I'm just taking just a black eyeliner and applying that in my waterline. And just finishing that with some mascara. Now I'm taking this fishnet and pulling it over my head. This is the classic mermaid skin trick that everybody uses. And then I'm going in with my blush from Wet n Wild and this is called Zombie Blush. So I know it looks black, like black greenish, but when you apply it, you can see that it's more of a purple shade, purple pink, and then a hints, hints of green. I love this thing so freaking much because it made this look so much easier. I didn't have to use very many shades to create that mermaid skin look. I have like three shades and one eyeshadow. Well, it's not eyeshadow, it's like blush, but I love it. So I was applying it all around my forehead and then applying it as if it were blush. And I the camera stopped filming, so I didn't show this, but I'm showing you what I'm doing here. This is the Not Your Basic Witch highlighter, whatever you want to call it. And I'm only using it at the hairline and then near close to the eyebrows. And I'm not going all the way down into the center like I did with the other um, blush. So as you can see, the top blush is there. And then I'm using this black highlighter underneath it. And this one looks black, but it actually comes out black and, and green. So as you can see, so many shades with using just those two. So definitely worth it. I love it. And I'm taking that black highlighter again and working that eyeshadow into my hairline because it looks funny that it's just stopped there <laughs> so just really really blend and work that into the hairline so it all blends well now i'm taking the not your basic witch highlighting again and applying that over my brows just to give it some green tint to it seriously you guys those two Highlighters are freaking amazing. Now I'm going with my Hip Dot Crystals palette. I'm taking this turquoise glitter and applying that on my brows as well. Then I'm taking the same Crystals palette and applying some silver glitter over my face. This is the Fancy Frights Face Gems from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to add some gems to my forehead. Thank you. 
For lips, I'm taking Shady Witch. This is the Liquid Lipstick Cat Suit in Metallic by Wet n Wild and applying that. Now I'm taking these Madame Lashes from Harlot Lashes. And then finishing that eye look with some mascara on my lower lashes. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the shade Grave Robber. So it normally comes out purple, but because I put it over this lipstick, it has that green shade showing. So this is the Serpent Goddess Stencil from Wet n Wild. And I know it's not the same as like a mermaid, but I thought it would go perfect. And I'm taking the Zombie Blush and applying that. Okay, yeah, see, so this is blush, so blush and highlight. <laughs> and I am just shading in that stencil. Then I'm going in with Not Your Basic Witch Highlight and applying that on the, uh, or around it. Taking this stencil off, I kind of went over, but it's okay. You could just use makeup wipes to cover that up or to clean that up. Then I'm taking Not Your Basic Witch and I'm going to start shading in my collarbone, my neck, my shoulders, and just blend it all. I think adding this just really completes the look. And topping that off, just adding some more face gems. And here is the final makeup look. You guys, I love it so much. Moving on to hair, I'm going to start unpinning this hair. And as I do, I'm then going to tease these sections because I want a little bit of volume in there. So we're not going to tease this whole top section right here because this is where our victory rolls are going to start. So I'm gonna part down the center and then part all the way to my ear. And then we're going to put this away because we're going to work on the back. So now I'm just taking my fingers, breaking up those curls, giving them some volume, and then brushing out the top so everything is nice and smooth. Now for the victory rolls. I have a really detailed tutorial, so I'll link that if you want to watch it. It's really old though, I need to update it. But what I'm doing is starting from the bottom and taking sections and teasing the crap out of these sections. I mean intense teasing, as you can see. And I'm going to do that all the way till I meet the middle part. And then I'm taking a soft bristle brush and combing that over so as you can see it's already starting to create that victory roll and here i'm using my fingers to help guide the roll and then brushing out the ends so i can create that swirl in the front i was so shocked i was able to do it so quickly because i haven't done victory rolls in forever you guys i think maybe like five years it's it's been a long time since i've done them so right here i just pinned it even though it's not perfect but this is the time for me to perfect it after i pin it because then i don't have to worry about it falling out and all it is is just molding using your fingers to create that swirl once you get it the way you like it spray it with some chi hairspray and just clean it all up and then i'm going to spray the front and use a blow dryer to set that hairspray and uh, it's a pretty good victory roll <laughs> so the other side same thing this side is always more difficult for me to do i always have one side that's better than the other so this one did take a little bit more work but i did it i managed to do it
then I did one last final spray to set it. So now I'm going to set the back section with some hairspray just so the curls don't fall out. And here is the final hair look. Moving on to the costume, this is the headpiece that came with the costume, but I pulled the string off and I added bobby pins because I wasn't going to be able to carry that string over these rolls. So here is the final look with the crown. And the costume, this is the Dark Water Siren from Leg Avenue. This is how it looks without a corset. And of course, I always like to be extra, so I added my corset. This is the What Katie Did baby corset, and I think it just made it look 10 times better. I love the exaggerated waist for this costume. So if you have one lying around, definitely wear it. I think it looks great. And here is the back section without the corset and then with the corset and here is a close-up i just love that sort of netting look and the tool at the top and the sleeves very cute i love this costume and sorry i didn't know the tag was sticking out that's really annoying me so this is it for today's look i really hope you dolls enjoyed it like i said i had so much fun creating it i am so surprised I actually pulled it off. Um, so I'm really proud of myself for that. I hope you dolls all have a fun and safe Halloween. Be careful, please, please, please. Um, I'm going to be staying home, passing out candy. I get a ton of kids in my neighborhood and my whole family's coming over here. So we're gonna be celebrating all together. But once again, I hope you dolls have a great Halloween. I love you so much and I will see you Friday. Bye loves.